vested interest America has with Christian nations in Africa is quite interesting, but it has to do with oil. So I do not approve of a deal with the devil that has to do with his blood money. No blood for oil. This game is dangerous. Sanctions on Iran are not fair. We, having a nuclear club why everyone else is not allowed to have nuclear bombs is not fair. And to play this dangerous game and risk World War III with our children and our brothers and sisters and, and all the soldiers abroad and to put their safety on the line, you know, and in jeopardy because you are not using your foreign policy and your, the art of diplomas, diplomacy as well as you could be. So no to World War III with Iran. You've got to watch these satellite nations and, and, and these cushion nations that China and Russia have because that will give them an excuse to go to war with us. So it's irresponsible to go to war with Iran, I do not approve of it. I think that we need to re-examine our government and the corrupt members of our government need to be removed. Just because we're not sure about whether or not they have a nuclear program, just like we were not sure about whether or not Saddam had WMDs and it turned out he didn't, okay? All we care about is money, gold, and oil. That's why we're starting trouble with Iran. It's irresponsible, and Ahmadinejad does not deserve this kind of treatment. The Ayatollah does not deserve this kind of treatment. The people of Iran and Tehran, who are given a lot of leeway and is not so strict as the rest of the nation, they don't deserve this kind of treatment. Know who your true enemy is, and your enemy is not each other. I do not like the House of Fulani Muslim tribe and terrorist Muslims. I don't care about the rest of the Muslims. I'm neutral then. You know, they earn my respect or they don't. Now, <clears throat> I would say to the people, know who your true enemy is. And that's the Illuminati. The people on top who are corrupt, who control the money, control the capital gains, and they control the taxes. They control the flow of the bread. What did Jesus talk about? Breaking bread. I want to break bread with God, not accept the the leftover bread that trickles down from Satan. Thank you.